never take a loss. I ain't set up for defeat. Four Giados on the truck. I had a dream in the stuff. Living my life cause we up. Looking back like where the love. That's why I be hella low key. But contrary to belief. Love to you. I've been grinding since I'm young and they told me my timing was coming I've been hustling with no fun and forget all the fame Get the money, I'm out of that late where it's sunny I've been eating since I'm young and since we ain't had food in our tummy The life we was living ain't funny but you could not take nothing from me Put that on my mama, my daughter, my cousin, my brother, I'll show Way better than I can take The type of dreams that they say That's why I learned from my failures Don't do the handouts or the favors Told my brother I'ma get this paper Was left behind, I'll see it later To keep it real, you don't need to wait up Lay it all on the line, ain't no looking back Giving my all with no strings attached Came from the bottom, rolls through the cracks Spotlight on you, but how you are at? I remember sleeping to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 22 yard line. Right away, they're going to 
to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. No gain. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Eluding the pressure right. That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. And they will tap it right on the chalk of the 45. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. and 15. From the gun, it's Wins. Being chased out left. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Now, once again. The first catch of the game from George Kittle. Yeah, able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down in a nice little gain. It's a gain of eight. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and he finds McLaurin touchdown Terry McLaurin his 11th touchdown of the year and the Saints have taken the early lead Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. This taken in about four yards deep. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. with Tevin Coleman. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Two yards on the pickup. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, it's Coleman. 
Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. He was tackled at the a quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And it's third down. Burrow throw. Smith catches left side. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. This is Coleman. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throw on second down. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Enough to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away Gonzalez's kick is good and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three so yes it's only three but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game yeah I like the observation there because getting some points on the board very positive for them feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score you potentially have opened the door for them to score again and then you're down 14. take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> Early in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And it work his way across the 30 to the 32. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Working from the gun, Wentz slings this deep from the corner. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. If this is what you want to see from a defense, give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense? So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Oh, 
And he was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. This is taken around the 12. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down, Panthers. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Panthers three. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the counter, here's Coleman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? First and ten, Joe Burrow. Flushed out right. Now on the run, he'll throw it. That's caught inside the 20. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now a dump off here complete. It'll be a gain of four. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Buying time to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Able to pick up a dozen yards there on the scramble, but not enough. Fourth down. And Ron Rivera, he's going to keep the offense on the field. They're going for it. Burrow. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. 
They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up you know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second down, here's Burrow. He's going to air it out for Dorsett, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. On the ground, it's a handoff to Coleman. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They get nine out of that one. As a result, the drive continues. First down, Panthers. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Coleman now fights him off. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it, you can throw it, you keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Carolina. Tavin Coleman. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And his kick is good. Makes the score Panthers 10, Saints 7. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled into 20. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Well, able to force him out of the pocket right, but still able to complete it. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. 
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he'll find McClure this time as that's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 40-yard line. On first down, Wentz. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the guy, he'll hand this off. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. First and ten at the on play action. Wentz looking for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Terry McLaurin in the final seconds of the first half. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at the start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one, go to the locker room, start over. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. On the screen, this is Coleman. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Eddie Pinheiro is set to kick off. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And it brings up third down. They'll try the left side with Coleman. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. Here's the Panthers punter now. As he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. 
And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. spot to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 gonna give this time to the tailback two yards good enough for a first second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield I bet the offensive lineman said are you kidding we just get on our backs and let's go get the first down they love being physical So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. We're on 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. First, first downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Start backs him up five, first and 15. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Preston Smith. Preston Smith there on the stop. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. looking right and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45 give him 14 on that one and a first down now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles all runs on this drive so far it's first and ten and he gets this inside the 35 yard line Ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield, too. Well, first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. To throw as wins. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Five yards, now it's third and five. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Brings up third and five. And he'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football 
and it just swore and stopped him for almost no game. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten-play drive. They stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They will run again with Coleman. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Third down, Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. There's the Panthers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds his way back to him. Atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. <laughs> Going to give this time to the tailback. They find some open field here. And they can't bring it down. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big time play there for New Orleans. Give him 52 yards on the ground. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. At the Panthers' 24-yard line. On second and 12, Wentz. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third down and 12. Now Wentz. He's still caught at about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Touchdown of the year. And the Saints now at 
six to their lead. And the lead is up to 14. Good. Makes the score Saints 24, Panthers 10. Eddie Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No doubt we tell my offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But somebody, listen, there's something that there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and two. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Burrow. And he comes back with one complete. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First down, Carolina. First down, here's Burrow. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Pickup. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And Burrow going to throw again. And yeah, this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold out of that one, and it's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. They'll run it with Coleman. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They'll run on first down. Coleman, a short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the Saints' 29-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Dancing to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and nine. Burrow will throw. 
this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. First down. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Flush to his right. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off inside the 10, and he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 16-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Wentz to throw. That one slant to the corner. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Forty-yard line On second and 11 now. Wentz. Man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this deep on the kill side of the field it's a big play there for the saints 53 yards they probably don't need to run a play here but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal and a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three a pickup of four on first down it'll be second and goal so the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the game, 17th of the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And he knocks it through. Makes the score Saints 31, Panthers 10. Pinheiro set to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game is played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter and what are the whistles for timeout so they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds second and two forced out to his left and this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left for John o. Smith the tight end is intended receiver and it's third and short They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. So this one, a victory here 
for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for New Orleans, they keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 8-3. and three. I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, uh, I turn the knob, can't resist, I'm incredible.